David from Germany wanted a description or a demonstration of the underhanded poor uh, that I talk about on page 190 of the bar book. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, in that section, I talk a bit about ergonomics and my sort of history with uh, architecture and building and just sort of uh, interior spaces and you know how the human body sort of works in environments and you know bartending is uh, I think one of the prime examples of that um, and it's all about um, you know repetitive stress injuries that uh, are very common in bartending you know uh, particularly the 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 arms i mean you know let's leave the 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 feet and the legs and the the back and all that kind of stuff for for another discussion but we're doing these things with our hands uh, all night every single night i've been doing this for almost 27 years now and i used to have a lot of issues with my uh particularly with my, my shoulders and my my elbow because of the way that i was holding the bottles right um, you know, in bartending, we do this uh, with a heavy, you know, uh, so sometimes full, uh, sometimes 750 milliliter, uh, often a one liter bottle. Uh, this, you know, over and over and over again uh, for, for, you know, years on end, night after night. It's pretty easy to fix. It's pretty easy to, um, to kind of overcome this issue, but uh, I wanted to demonstrate it in case it wasn't clear particularly for David. So here's the typical grasp that you see bartenders do. This is the grasp that I used for uh, probably close to a decade, back when I was having all of these problems with my, my shoulders and my, my elbows. Um, you know, and you sort of grab the bottle like this and lift and pour. And you can see, uh, as I show you, what's happening here. You're, you're putting all of this stress on uh, particularly your, your elbow um, as you do that over and over and over again, you can almost picture uh, as you do it, like where that muscle, that that sort of you know nerve gets pinched. I don't know, you know, I'm not a, a physical therapist, but um, you know, you can sort of picture how that's how that's going to go if you do that for a really long time. Uh, so what I uh, started doing, um, you know, probably uh, a little over a, a decade ago was this kind of this idea of this underhanded pour and the thing about the underhanded pour and you know what i mean is is taking the strain off the shoulder and the elbow and really using those as kind of assistive muscles uh or joints to uh aid the wrist and we're putting the the responsibility of of turning that bottle over on the wrist which is kind of what the wrist is meant to do it's meant to turn like that your shoulder isn't meant to you know, do this over and over again, and your elbow is certainly not meant to do this over and over again, but your wrist is meant to turn. So uh, underhanded pour, so rather than going, you know, kind of like this, uh, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm just gonna put it in between my um, uh, fingers there, and I'm gonna grab it with my thumb, and I'm gonna use my thumb uh, to kind of, just gonna turn that, and now I've got this very gentle, uh, easy pour, that um, you know, I can measure it into the jigger and then dump it out and set it back in the well. It's really easy, it takes a little practice, uh, but I hope it helps. Um, David, sorry for taking so long to get back to you on this. Uh, and that's it, thanks for watching.